So the second big idea I want to talk to you about today is the huge benefits of struggle for your brain. I've already shown you the evidence that mistakes cause your brain to grow and are really beneficial, but more and more evidence is showing that when you're struggling, when you're finding something really difficult, that's really the best time for the brain. Um, and there's a really interesting study that was done and written up in this book, which is called The Talent Code. Greatness isn't born, it's grown. Here's how. Where the author goes to find people that he says display amazing talent. He goes to the top of pe the people studying music, sport, um, soccer, um, and um, maths and school subjects also. And what he shows that these people who achieve this amazing great talent, and, and actually they go to Brazil to look at the soccer training there, they find that the people who are at the very top um, engage in a special kind of practice that really accelerates their learning. And what does this special kind of practice look like? It's, as he says, it's about pushing yourself at the edge of your understanding, making a mistake, going forward, correcting it, going forward, making a mistake again, correcting it, going forward, always being pushing at the edge of your understanding, being really challenged, those are the very best times that accelerate learning and brain growth. Another uh, scientist recently found something a little bit similar. He's, he shows that, um, they show that every time you retrieve something from your brain, like when you're asked a question and you come up with an answer, it changes that information in your brain, makes it more readily accessible later. And the very best time, way to prepare for any kind of test or anything else is to keep testing yourself, keep having to come up with ideas, um, not just reading through things. And again, it's the, what he calls desirable difficulties. All of these neuroscientists are talking about difficulties and challenge and how good they are for the brain. So I have a, a new book I'm working on and I've been interviewing a whole range of teachers who really embrace the mindset um, approach. And one of them, I know really understands the way the important ways to integrate mindset ideas into teaching because she really values the times when students struggle and really encourage them in those times. Her name is Jennifer Schaefer and she told me that the first of all when she was encouraging struggle she shared with students this staircase and she said this is the staircase of struggle and you have to get onto the steps and she tells them this you don't have to be that cocky guy at the top but you don't want to be this person at the bottom either. You've got to get on the steps of struggle. It's really important. And this is a post-it note that they have all around the room. But she said they, the kids really liked this metaphor, but they really liked this one even more. It comes from James Nottingham, and he's um, shown this idea called the learning pit. You have to get into the pit of struggle. And he sh has this nice graphic of students who are in this struggle pit, Jennifer, in her classroom, asked the students if they would come up with their own graphic to show the struggle pit. And they came up with a lovely diagram they made themselves. And you can see when they're going into the pit, they've got things like, I'm so confused, I'm not good, I don't get it, this is so hard. And then as they're coming out of the pit, they're saying, oh, it's getting easier, I'm getting it. And Jennifer says to the students, I could help you jump over the pit. So you don't go into that pit of struggle. But I don't want you to I don't want to do that because the struggle is so important for your brain. It's really good to get into the pit and embrace that struggle. And she said her students say to her, Miss Schaefer, I'm really in the pit. And she answers them by saying, Excellent. What resources do you need? So she doesn't structure the work for them, she doesn't make it easier. She celebrates that time when they're struggling, which is really great. Thank you.